It's stability ball workout time. Do you own a stability ball but don't know how to actually do a full core workout with it? I got you covered. Today, we're gonna do a easy stability ball workout to get you started. Hi, I'm Tabitha Gomez and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm here to help all you busy ladies out there juggling jobs, careers, and kiddos with no real time to exercise. I'm gonna give you exercise kit tips, tricks, and even product reviews to help make exercise and fitness a part of your life. If at any time you like what you see, go ahead and click that like button or consider subscribing. So today we're gonna do a stability ball, yeah, that guy, workout together. So what I'm gonna do so that this is not a 30 minute long video. I'm gonna run through all the exercises. So we're gonna do six exercises to start and you're gonna repeat those six exercises four times, okay? Simple enough, six exercise, repeat it four times. If you cannot get through four repetitions, that's okay, that's okay. You do what you can today and next time you repeat, Instead of just two, you do three times. And then the following time you do it four times, okay? So don't worry if you can't uh, repeat all six exercises four times. Just do what you can and you will get better and improve as you keep on trying. All right, I've got a workout here. I got my timer set. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 45 seconds, 15 seconds rest, 45 seconds, 15 seconds rest. By the time you're done with this workout, your first round is gonna take you six minutes total, and then the whole thing will take you 24 minutes. So not too bad, right? 24 minutes, beginner core workout again. So this is not for, this is for someone who cannot balance with their feet on the ball. All core, we're gonna get it done. I'm gonna go through one round, and you know what? Maybe two rounds. So I'll go through two rounds with you guys, and then you repeat, that two more times as you can, all right? So I'm gonna get my timer started in a second. Let me show you really quick all the exercises we will be doing. We're gonna hold a plank here. Plank, rolling forward. If you can't roll forward, you just hold your plank. We're going to do a feet on ball up downs. So to get you used to putting your feet on the ball, we're gonna put our feet up here and we're gonna go up, down, up, down, all right? We're gonna do overhead pulls to crunch, so if you have some dumbbells, grab your dumbbells. If not, that's totally okay. Sitting on the top of the ball. We're gonna overhead pull here, and we're gonna go up to the crunch. Overhead pull to the crunch, all right? Okay, next we'll do rollouts, so back straight, Roll it forward and pulling it back. Then we'll do rotations on top of the ball. With your dumbbell, if you have one, rotate to the right and rotate to the left. Last one will be leg lifts. So down on your mat. Hold on to your ball. Whoops, not like that. Down. And up, down, and up. All right, I have my weighted Bosu ballast ball, so it makes those a little bit harder. I love this ballast ball. Anyways, let me get the timer started and we can begin starting with our plank roll. You should be able to hear the beep. If not, I will put it in the video post-production. All right. We're gonna get started. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest, and I'll tell you where we're going next. Eight, two, one. And up. Roll it forward if you can. Keep those hips up, don't let them sag. We're 
almost there. Ten more seconds. Good. Two. There we go. Flip it over. Take your rest. We got ten second rest. Get your feet situated on this ball. We're going up in three, two, one, and up, and down. Now, if you can already balance with your feet on the ball, you can hold it out here, and that's completely fine. But if you can't, I want you controlled up, controlled down, control up, control down. Hold if you can, and back down. Good. We're almost there. 15 seconds. Good. Take that rest. We're going to do overhead pulls to crunch. Let me get my dumbbells. And we're taking it in three. Two, one, and go for it. Oop, too many. Too much weight. What was I thinking? There we go. Twenty seconds. Take a rest. We're headed to rollouts. 10 seconds. Remember to keep your butt tucked. We're only bending at the knees, not at our hips. Hands out nice and far forward and go for it. You have a string between your shoulder blades, pulling your chest back and up. No bending at the waist, just at the knees. If you can't go out far and you can only go here, it's fine. Proper form versus improper form for distance. Okay? You always want to keep the most proper form that you can. A lot of mistakes I see is people do this. That's totally wrong. Hips in line. Keep the spine straight and rest. Okay, we've got rotations on the top of the ball. Grab your weight again. Arms up and again. Rotate, really try to reach to roll that ball to the side. We're working our obliques. If you wanna make it harder, you can bring your feet closer together. Any of these moves, even if you are very good at your stability ball, when you do them proper, they should not be easy. You should be really focusing on those muscles, engaging your glutes, keeping those hips up, really rotating. 10 more seconds. I can feel it burning my glutes. And down. Okay, last one, legs lift, leg lifts. We got 10 second rest. Get on down on your mat. Feet on the side of your ball. In three, two, one, and go. Good, so lift, go all the way down. Bring it all the way up and lift. Like I said, I got weight here. So it is challenging. And then squeezing this ball, you know. There we go. Good. If you can't bring your legs all the way down and up, you can just stay right here and lift that butt up. Totally okay. Oh, it's in my face. 
face. Problem with summertime. Ah, almost there. There we go. Good. What do you got? 10 second rest. I'm gonna put my timer back on. So we're gonna start again. Back to that plank. And let's get started. Two, one. And begin. Keep those hips up. Good, almost there. 20 more seconds. Again, if you can't roll it forward like this, you can just hold this plank just right here. Make sure you don't drop your chest on the ball, but keep that chest nice and high. Almost there. And rest. Good. Feet on the ball, up and downs. Three, two, one, and go. Nice and controlled. Drive those hips up. Don't let them sag. Good. You should feel this a little in your upper body too because your upper body is supporting you. Almost there, five more seconds. And rest, good. Overhead pull to crunch. Get that weight. Hope you guys are feeling good. You should be feeling good, a little bit exhausted, but not too bad. In two, one, and go. Good. Weight down. We've got just three more exercises going to our rollouts. Feet hip width apart. Keep that upper body nice and straight. And let's roll. Good. Control using those that core. there 10 seconds good two one and rest okay grab that weight again we're going to do rotations 10 seconds two one begin Remember the ball should be at your shoulder blades. Your neck should not be strained at all. If your ball is too low and your neck can't rest on the ball, then your neck will become sore. So make sure that your neck is able to actually rest on the ball as needed. 15 seconds. Almost there guys. 10, 
Good. Last one, we've got leg lifts. Okay. And begin. just two rounds of core stability ball training. So go ahead and repeat that two more times if you got the energy in you. It's my timer's ending. If that already kicked your little butt, then don't worry about it. Go ahead and try that again in a few days and you'll get better or progressive. You'll, you'll progress so much more. I promise you, you'll be able to knock it out. You'll be able to do advanced ball stuff before you know it. So go ahead and repeat that again as many times as you possibly can. That was a quick 12 minute stability ball exercise. And I would say this is a not newbie exercise, but a beginner exercise, okay? So if you're kind of falling off the ball and you don't feel comfortable, totally okay. It happens, all right? So I'm glad you joined me and I hope to see you next time. If you have any requests, questions about the stability ball, go ahead and put them in the comments below and I'll answer anything that I can. I absolutely love this stability ball. If you haven't seen my stability ball series yet to help you out getting used to the ball, I will post that right up here for you guys to click the link and get used to this ball even faster. But as always, stay positive. As always, stay positive, work hard, and God bless. Mahalo for joining me. Aloha.